everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm doing something a little different today. So this is a video I've not seen anyone do on YouTube. I did have a scour around, I couldn't find one. But I thought, you know, New Year is coming up soon and we all have Bible reading goals, right? I'm sure, I'm sure we do. We have kind of um, dreams and hopes that we'd like to achieve from the word. So I thought, well, I know I do. So I thought I would share them with you today. Yeah, I've been reflecting what I want to do for 2023 regarding my Bible life and how I'm going to get the word in. And so because I've not seen anyone do this, I thought I would start it off. And if you make YouTube videos too, feel free to do it as well. And make sure you tag me in your video so that I can see it. So, so let's start a trend of doing Bible goals. Why not? Let's do it. And these are the three kind of um, Bibles I'm going to be working in and tools I'm going to be using. So. Let's talk about goals for a second. So we set goals in other areas of our life. It could be our health, it could be financial goals, it could be all sorts of things. But what about Bible goals? Goals are really helpful because they help keep us focused, they hold us accountable. But the type of goals we set can set us up for failure or success. It does depend on what type of goals we do. I think most of us at one point in our lives have had a goal of, I'm going to read the Bible in a year, right? Have you had that? Let me know if you have. But I think I'm going to really struggle with that because I've tried even just doing a shorter amount of time with a with a year long plan. And you have to read like 10 to 14 chapters a day to kind of fit it in. And if you skip a day, woo, skip three days, woo. And then before you know it, if you skip a week, you're out of the plan. It's just almost impossible to catch up. Plus, when you're reading that many chapters in a day, personally, because it's my first time really studying, I feel I can't get into the meat of the word. And if I'm reading too much at once, especially because I'm not, you know, it's not fresh in my mind, I don't know it all thoroughly, I kind of start glazing over and I forget a lot of what I read very quickly. Especially as I'm new to like really detailed studying like I'm doing in here, which I feel like I need to do that first. I think I need to go through and study in detail and know the word so that when I read it again, it's more like a refresher. But yeah, reading for me in general, I'm just skimming over and I will not remember what I've read. So that's just not going to work for me. I have tried and it's just, it's not, it's not the one for me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something a little bit different and you're welcome to do this too if you think it will help. And I'm going to commit to some habits instead. So instead of goals being, I'm going to achieve all of this, it's this is the habits that I want to implement in 2023 when it comes to reading my Bible. So first one is I'm going to continue studying the Bible three times a week or so in my white Bible, this one, and sharing those studies on YouTube. Now, will I, con will I be able to con be consistent every single week? I don't know. I might need to take a little Sabbath break every now and then. But my goal is the habit is going to continue where I'm going to continue doing my studies um, three times a week on YouTube. So as you know, I'm going through and sort of micro Bible journaling and I'm sharing them with you on YouTube. I do have a plan that I'm working through, which is kind of an overview of the main stories in the Bible. And then once I'm done with those, which I will be soon, I'm willing to study anything in the book. So what I'll do is on that community tab in my channel, I'll do some polls of what you would like to see next after we finish the plan and then we can choose together which books we want to study. Eventually my goal is obviously to have a study of every book on my channel. There, there are ones that I studied before starting my channel, so things like Psalms and Proverbs and John and all that stuff and Romans, I have already done but I don't have videos on them. So once I've gone through all the books, I will go back and um, go through those as well. They will just be pre-highlighted, that's all. <laughs> so yeah, that is habit number one for my goals. I am going to continue studying three times a week in my white bible and sharing those on YouTube. The second habit I want to do to continue with is the other days of the week when I'm not studying, I want to continue Bible journaling chronologically through the New Testament. And that's what this Traveller's Notebook is. So soon a video will be coming out on how I do my travel notebook Bible journaling. I know I've been talking about this one for a while. I'm just waiting to have a few more pages in it before I do that video. 
um, so that there's a bit more to show you. But um, here is just an example. I'll do the first page. So I'll show you this page. So what I'm doing is going through the New Testament chronologically and journaling any thoughts that I have as I'm reading it. So we've got in the beginning and the beginning was the word and how the world began and then the birth of Jesus and so on and so forth. Okay, it goes on and I've got a few pages here. And so that's what I'm doing on the other days of the week when I'm not studying in my white one. So I do like kind of alternating. I'm finding value in going through it chronologically in particular. And obviously once I'm done with the New Testament, I will then go back to the Old Testament and do that chronologically as well. So that's what I'm doing on those other days. Alongside that with this habit, I am also going through my Action Bible so I can get some visuals as I study along the New Testament. So, ooh, so every now and then, it depends how much I've read, I might, it might be a few weeks at a time before I come back to this. But I will read some of the New Testament and then I'll go through my visuals in the comic and get a nice uh, visual of the story and what I've been reading to make sure that what I'm reading and studying and journaling, I'm picking up all the details because I have picked up a few in this Bible. Um, it's just something different about seeing it come to life. It's really, it's an incredible book. I'm loving that. So that is my second habit. So we've got habit number one, studying the word a chapter at a time. And then habit number two, journaling through the New Testament chronologically. And my third habit that I want to do is my Bible art. Now I have not forgotten about my art, even though I haven't been doing it for a while. It's so sad, I do miss it. But the thing with art and creativity is it really does come in waves. And there's also, um, I need, you know, I need to be in the zone when it comes to my art. It can't be forced, not for me anyway. So I don't think I've shown you this in detail. I think I showed you a little bit in um, my bike collection video. But yeah, I'm still I'm still working my way through Genesis. I've decided to journal a chapter at a time. I don't know if I'm going to continue that once I finish Genesis. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do it. But yes, because it's art, it can be time consuming and I really need to be in a creative space for it. And I just I haven't really done much this since like the beginning of the year. Um, I'm very self-aware of how I am with art and so I don't want to set myself up to fail okay I don't want to start it and it just be terrible so um, I'm not going to be strict with how often I will do it it's not like my bible studying where I'm committing to alternating between these every single day so I'm still getting the word in with art I don't want to do it as a daily or weekly habit my goal for this one is going to be an end goal you know like how I said read the bible in a year is an end goal and that I don't want to do it that way. When it comes to art, that's going to be different for me and I am going to use an end goal. What I would like to do is at least have created art for every chapter of Genesis by the end of the year. So for the reason I'm, I'm allowing myself a bit more flexibility there is because that could be that I do one every couple of weeks or it could be I do loads in one creative burst. I think I'm halfway through yeah, so I'm I finished, I've done 22 chapters so far, and I think there are 50 in Genesis. So I'm just, just over halfway. There is a lot to go. But there are 52 weeks in a year. So I could do one every couple of weeks. Yeah, like I said, or do loads at once. I don't know. We shall see what the year brings. I'm not going to be strict with myself with this goal though because I don't want to ever make my art feel like a chore. I don't want to ever think, oh, I have to sit down and do art today. It's always, I always want it to feel like a creative, enjoyable, relaxing process where I can just meditate on the word and just spend time with him. But I do really want to get back into it in 2023 if I can, you know, get my artistic groove back, which is my my goal so yeah I'm excited for these goals in 2023 get back into my art a little bit continue journaling through the New Testament in my traveler's notebook and of course I would love to continue studying with this um, as well I don't I'd like I said I don't know how much I'm going to get done in a year that's not my goal my goal is not to finish the whole bible in a year it's just to continue the habit a few times a week 
Now, I want to add a bonus to the end of this video because I have some sort of honourable mentions for goals that I would like to include. You know, as ideas for you, or if I didn't think it would overwhelm me too much, I would consider adding these as well. So one would be to memorise scripture because I am slacking on that and I would just, oh, I would love to be able to just reel them off and not just know the words because I can, I can recite some. I want to know exactly where it is in the scripture and I, or I want to be able to see a scripture and know exactly what it says. You do see what I mean? So that's kind of how I'd love to be one day, but um, I did have a plan to do that. But in all honesty, I'm thinking of switching it up because I'm not committing to it very well and I'm finding it's just a bit much for me at the moment. I feel like I need to kind of slow down and do it a different way. But I might do a review part way through the year to see how I'm getting on with these goals and, and whether I can add it in. Even if it's just a couple of scriptures by the end of the year that I know off by heart, that's still something, right? So yeah, I might do a mid-year review or a quarterly review and see how my goals are going. The other uh, honourable mention for goal is to do daily scripture writings. I do see some people do these and I think that is lovely and that can be included in any, any daily routine as, you know, it barely takes a minute if you just do one a, one a day, for example, um, for a monthly plan or you can do a chapter a day, however much time you've got. But writing the scripture out uh, is a really nice way of getting into the word as well. And related to that, the final honourable mention is writing the Bible out by hand, which I've seen some people do as well, and I think that is just amazing. So those also are three extra ways that you can get the word in in 2023. You see, there are loads of ways that we can get the word, and that's what this kind of goal is about, is how are we going to make sure we continue to get God's word in us next year. So please do share what your 2023 goals are for getting the word in. Are you going to do art? Are you going to do journaling? Are you going to do studying? and do all three like me? Are you going to do scripture writing? Memorization? What ways are you going to work on getting the goals in? And if you haven't thought about that, I encourage you to take some time to do that because, as I said, even if you're just your goal is to set habits like me rather than committing to an end goal, I just want to get into the habit or continue in the habit of getting the word in every day in creative ways. I know many of us are at different stages in our journey through the word, so I am really interested in seeing the types of goals we all may have. If you've studied before, you might just be trying to get the word in as many times as you can now. You might be trying to read the Bible two, three times all the way through in a year, and that's amazing. I can't wait till I'm at that stage. Or maybe you're kind of new and you just want to understand the word at all. Maybe you, your goal is just to get yourself a Bible and start reading. Maybe it's to go through some Bible studies Whatever it is, let me know. Leave your goals in the comment section below. And do make sure you come back in later on and check on how you're getting on. And finally, remember, if you are a Christian YouTuber as well, or you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to do this video too, and be sure to tag me. I would love to see your goals and what ideas you have to help other people get in the word as well. And we can help hold each other accountable as we commit to being in the word consistently in 2023. So, I hope that's been helpful. Um, remember, Jesus loves you very much. And God willing, I'll speak to you really soon. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye.